Welcome to Just Forget About It, a podcast to take you away from everyday woes. Um, today I is Dan hosting, and I've got with me Ollie, Dave, Macan, and the other Dan. Um, right, so this week our question or topic to discuss is we as a group are starting a Just Forget About It school um, <laughs> syllabus, um, and we've got to either scrap any of the subjects we thought were relevant in school and then bring in new topics that we think would be relevant to kind of everyday life. So what are the things you think were a complete waste of time and what would you introduce? RE. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> well, that's the top one that everyone's going to say is RE because it was they, a total waste of time. They hate that question so much he's actually left the room. <laughs> 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 I, I, I'll go. I'll go first because I've got a strong opinion on this. I would say um, there was. I don't know if it was just my school, but I think anyone who went to a a, a state school um, was at some point offered a choice between home economics and design and technology, and there was a split. And and if you offer kids of that age that choice, all the boys are going to go to design and technology, and all the girls are going to go to home economics yeah. and that's exactly what happened and so um the home economics class was actually a quite an important class i think because it teaches you how to sort of feed yourself healthily and and look after your bills and and you know do all that sort of stuff day-to-day life requires of you um whereas design technology was sort of making a pencil case or something or, or a bird box we made some bird boxes i think we made about three or four throughout my time and doing design yeah i don't think we had that choice i think our choice was like home make the art I, I i dropped art as soon as i could can't draw can't do it i hate art um did that but yeah you're right that the home make itself actually did a lot of good things in it we, we actually did like a little um apprentice mini apprentice style set up a business and compete against other people in there in the class and whoever made the more most money won won that kind of like that task that's business studies though isn't it well no it's it's it's, it's economics uh, but no that's that's my that's my take on it i think it should be mandatory that that we that we have that home economics and you could replace re and you could have design and technology and home economics and just remove re from the schedule yeah i i think that there was definitely some subjects that were hobbies rather than things you need in life like music um art they can both go languages languages can go because like well i i studied french for about seven years but could i hold a conversation in france now not a chance i, I think languages should stay but i don't know now because we've all it's all been many years since we've been at school um uh, for all of us um <laughs> I think the selection of languages should have been greater because you had to do French. Um, I probably would have chosen to have done Spanish or something. Would you have taken Italian if I offered that? <laughs> I, I did actually do that on the side. Did you? What, what yeah. you've got an Italian like qualification? I think it, yeah, it's probably a GCSE. Uh, Wasn't that cheating a bit? Like... <laughs> it, it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, did it kind of like a night school. Um, did that just obviously just in case if I ever went went to stay over there, live over. But couldn't you speak fluent Italian by then, or did you learn it at? Miss yeah, school? no, I did. But it was about just getting that qualification. It's like anything here can speak English, but we had to do it at school. <laughs> right, I see. Yeah, but it was great because basically we just had fun during the the lessons and then just turned off the exam. It sounds like you went to get a qualification of something you could do anyway. If it feels like it's, it was just a... It's just like anything these days. It's all about having a bit of paper. Yeah, very true. I think there's like stuff like I would have found it quite useful if someone talked about mortgages or work or it's taxes. Or and I reckon they do now. Life, life, do you reckon? Life that, skills. Yeah, I think they do now. That's something I always thought as well that, yeah, tell you how... Because even some people now don't tell you how a credit card works, that it's not free money. Tell you how a mortgage works. Yeah, I'm still confused by the whole pension stuff. So yeah. you know, to, to get get you set up for actual, you know, what the savings accounts are. You know, it's yeah, life basically. It's home life economics studies. that is covered under uh, the home economics, isn't it? Fin- financial I'm, planning. Financial yeah. planning, yeah. But isn't home economics cooking? That's what I kind of I thought. That's yeah. what home economics was. 
homework is more on the food side. Yeah, Ollie just wants women in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew how to cook. Then, then I'd be a bit healthier, you know. And that's that's one of the big things is if if you learn that stuff at a young age, it just becomes second nature to you. I think throwing ingredients together and stuff. And um, home home economics should be expanded out to be financial planning as well, then, because uh, that's all encompassing. Then is uh, food and bills and life. Yeah, <laughs> the universe and everything. <laughs> a useful lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also, we, we, we should there should be more practical stuff in um, schools as well, right? It should be like not all theory. It should be like hands-on experience and maybe like going out to like workplaces and like seeing like different kind of departments and maybe like what yeah. people do and what that entails and what that looks like. Because saying you want to work in IT or whatever, you don't really know what that means, you know? What yeah. I mean? And then you kind of see what they're doing. And even the practical things that you did do in school, like we don't use today, right? Like I haven't used a Bunsen burner since school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those gas taps, man. Yeah. I think Max hits on something. I think the, it's probably around the practicalities of life is one of the big things. Because most people learn kinesthetically or learn by doing. And I don't know what you all did uh, if you had to do your work experience, but it's two weeks and you're giving the, giving probably the most shittest job ever. Yeah. 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 Uh, you're not going to do that in the real world. We're we'll not choose to do it in the real world. I, I worked at a job centre. Did you? Yeah. What did you do? Some stapling? Some packing? Stapling, taking staples out of paper. Lam- you know, you know they, they wanted a, la- a, like, a, a laminate put up, like a sign on everything, saying, like, don't steal. No, no, I'm not really. It was saying, like, it was saying, like, don't, like use th- don't use this out of service or something. So I, I wrote it on Word, printed it off, laminated it, and then after that, they were like, oh, you're so good at laminating. They used to ask me to laminate everything. <laughs> and I used to be like, how, like, you can't not be good at it. Do you know what I mean? And then you cut it. And then that's how they used to make me laminate. And like when they wanted any posters made or anything, they used to make me do it and laminate it. Oh, man, I hate that. I, I had fun at my work experience. I ended up in, um, it was an insurance company in the town I lived. There were a fun group of people. We would like play pool at lunchtime and stuff like that. Um, it was my first real temp job after I left uni, which was the worst one I ever had. And I, I walked out of it after a week. Um, well, hold on. Did you just enjoy it because of the pool and not because of the work? Uh, that, yeah, well, it was just fun because they were a fun bunch of people. And there's like a 15-year-old. It was just good sort of being with people that were having a laugh with you and stuff. But you don't learn anything, do you? Um, no, you just get to hang around with an older group of people for two weeks, yeah. I found. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, the the lesson I would get rid of um, and, and I think the thing is, the, we'll say we'll get rid of some of these lessons. I think in, from my knowledge or experience, these lessons actually are better if you went and did it in A-level. But a lot of us don't. You drop it at GCSE or beforehand. Uh, but for me, it'd be geography. You would drop, yeah. That's I, a good... I didn't get, as in, not that I didn't get geography, but it's like learning about different hill systems and things like that and I, you yeah, know, different I just, types of farming and yeah yeah as, as so yeah geography for me was just it sounds like it should be a great fun lesson but it wasn't so we 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 for, we i because i did geography the gcse and that and and for like i've to like part of gcse you had to go to like the local like river and work out what the ecosystem is and stuff. And it's like, why do you even need that? It was so boring. Hold on, hold on. We're all looking at one person on the screen in particular. <laughs> I find that quite useful. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't even think of that, actually. My I actually, like, yeah, my I'm resident expert there. So, to be yeah, fair, I, um, I would actually introduce three subjects that are all kind of the same. Uh, horticulture, agriculture, and permaculture. Give to give any reasons as to why? And what is permaculture? Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'll explain what they are. <laughs> so you don't know what agriculture is? No, permaculture. Uh, permaculture. You don't know what permaculture is? So basically, um, it's a way of planting how nature does it. So I'll, I'll give you an example. And actually treating like your garden, how nature would do it. For example, you've got leaves on the floor. In a forest, You don't. they don't get cleaned up. They just get left. So why they're cleaned up in your garden sort of thing. That, that's is, is a small example. Uh, and then it's been able to plant plants and crops in the proper places, like where they grow naturally, but also rotate them. 
as well because different plants need different types of nutrients. So that stuff is actually quite important if you think about it food is. and all yeah, that yeah, sort of thing. And foraging, you know, how, what to foraging, eat when yeah. you're out and about, if you can get horseradish and get whatever you want when you're out on a walk, saves you buying it in the supermarket, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. That's free food. Yeah. Especially in this uh, culture where you've got uh, an economic crisis. Exactly. You get your blackberries and stuff. Every little helps. But how, how... You, can't, you can't use a supermarket slogan to steer away from them. the supermarkets. Yeah, use it against them. Use their own slogans against them. We could create our own foraging network. <laughs> but I think, though, it's how... And again, it's just remembering my time. I think it's how the geography subject itself was framed at school. I don't think it was beneficial or of, of use. I think I, I, I would love to actually see now how things are these days. I reckon things have changed a hell of a lot. Oh, yeah. It'd be more climate change centric and stuff. Geography now it will be receding. You no, know, I, 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 I don't agree with that. I, I think you'd be surprised. You'd mostly go and I bet it's not very different to what we did. It was longshore drift and things like that, wasn't it? So it was like yeah, sedi- yeah, sediment. That's going to be the same. There's no way is that going to be. There's no but that's way important because that's 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 a changing our landscape and that well, sort of. Well, if you've got if a river you in your garden, house, it's important. Otherwise, no it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you buy a house near a river, you, I, if I'd have known about that stuff, <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't slowly have slowly eroding my garden yeah. every year. <laughs> but um, no, it is important, I, and I and I would never choose geography. Would you choose geography over RE? Well, I was actually just one so do you not think it, yeah, but so do you not think it's important then for, for kids to understand all the different religions? And no. don't you think that would help in a in a in a world like no, we're not now? really. No, so I think what you get is you get religion taught at school, then you get it taught at home as well. Yeah, you get a clash. Well, not everyone does. Not everyone does at home. And I think when on when we're talking about religion, so where where I went, you didn't just learn it wasn't just Christianity. You learned about all the different religions and i think it's about how a subject is taught that's what i'm saying about geography i'm not saying itself is a bad subject or not useful but i think how it's taught at school so on my experience i would drop geography because i didn't think it was a valid subject re i think if you were to drop that you you'd have to you'd have to be careful in the sense of it's, it's school should to me should be a way of introducing children the, to, the to problem of life of re is i think we're trying to teach it to children at an age where they're not that interested in it whereas actually if you could like teach it when they're a bit older when they're beginning to mix with people with different beliefs a bit more the secondary school is so that secondary school should be that place because otherwise i don't think anyone will select it so what what if you attend a roman catholic school that well you're you're kind of beholden to to their system aren't there we go that the but you know it's um majority of Majority of us wouldn't. And I, sorry, I was going to say, what was I going to say? I don't know if you know, but, but, but we're not at school. RE was one of those that no one, like, no one really did pay too attention to it, that really. Yeah. It was one yes, every, same every, And then we had to do a GCSE, but he only gave us half a GCSE as well. We didn't use the whole. <laughs> I found it was always given to the teachers that weren't very good at teaching as well. Like, yeah. it was like the, 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 yeah. the last subject. Yeah. It, it, it would be like the, yeah. um, you know, the uh, PE teacher. The yeah. PE teacher would be the RE teacher as well. Yeah. <laughs> But do, do you remember your teachers? So yeah. do you remember your good yeah. teachers? Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a few I remember or, because I, I remember my PE teacher. I remember. Yeah, I remember most of yeah. most of my teachers in upper school. I, I remember our our science teachers were terrifying, and some of us our French teachers actually. The rest were all okay. I don't know if it's because science they they feel they have to terrify you because there's dangerous stuff like Bunsen burners and acids. <laughs> <laughs> Even like you know, um, design technology. Did you do? You, you did design technology. Everybody must have done design technology. Yeah. Like they should. Yeah. E- e- even like that, I don't think we should get rid of it. But even like that, they should tailor it to like teach people like how to use a drill and like how to like yeah. hang yeah. things and you know stuff around the house like yeah. this. Yeah. Put it up, put a shelf up on a wall or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Something that's actually you might do in your life. Exactly yeah. stuff like that. You should, pipes. And yeah. Put, put, pipes. Put, Assembling stuff together and stuff like that. You've got you know? YouTube for that now. Kids won't yeah, study it. You've got, yeah, <laughs> you've got YouTube. That is true. YouTube tells you everything about it. Yeah. So what you say is it's real world practical skills. Yeah. 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 I, know, I, keep, I keep kind of going back to that, but because I've, I've, I've thought about this before and I just always thought that, I don't know, it's 
school it's just like people uh, yeah it's a lot of theory and a lot of stuff that's not relevant and people can't see the relevance when you if you could add stuff that is relevant and maybe they would see like around the house and like dan you made a good point earlier when you said about the mortgages and stuff like that if people hear that then the kids might be a bit more interested i doubt they will really will be interested but they might listen more because they'll know that actually i'm going to have a mortgage one day or i need to understand like yeah you know like um pension what is a pension and how does that work and you know stuff like that but... see, see, see and that, that's the thing for me it should be boiled down to life skills and make the current syllabus more relevant and interesting like for me i i didn't like history i would have wanted to have learned more modern history but i think that was an a-level thing but by which point i didn't want to do history at a-level because i got turned off it because of the gcse syllabus so you know it's all about the uh, the Greeks, the Romans, uh, medieval history, which I'm saying you can do, but I would have loved to have, you know, studied more about, yeah, kind of like the wars. The, the, I only the, remember the Guy Fawkes. That's literally the only You learned thing that in, in history, did you? <laughs> in history. <laughs> in trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament. That's the only yeah. thing I remember. <laughs> so it was obviously a really good good lesson I had. Do, do, do you think, so this, so this is a question, do, do you think that, the kids should be allowed to choose what they want to do. So obviously, you, so let's say they have to do maths, English, science, you have to do that. But outside yeah. of that, like where you have to do geography, history and all that, should you be able to say, I don't want to do geography and history and I want to do more of something else? Or something well, that's like what that. I said at the start. I don't think that choice should be given to kids between those two split on design and technology and home economics because I think, I think that's where you get um, one camp going one way and one camp going another way. And, you know, you'd be ribbed by your schoolmates and stuff if you did choose something that all the boys weren't choosing say yeah, it's quite interesting economics. so you i think know, that choice should be you're taken making away. an assumption that boys won't choose home economics well i yeah. know from from experience look at the stats on it i mean i haven't got the stats to hand <laughs> <laughs> but, okay but okay look at my stats my stats are saying <laughs> it's an even mix <laughs> i know from real world stats that it's not what you I, and from your being class there, yeah for, for me and my class and the classes that followed, I know. If you, if you look at society and TV in particular, I, I'd suggest the, the male to female ratio of celebrity chefs is probably about 50-50, which isn't the same as your stats in the classroom. No, it's not. But I don't know. I don't know what happens when they leave the classroom. It could be, you know, they, they, they go and cook at home or something. And there is the parenting side of it. You know, parents need to show kids how to cook and stuff. But I, th I think getting more practical skills is the main thing. And, and also taking that taking that sort of uh, choice away from the important lessons like that. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, you need more kids going into trades. You need plumbers and electricians, people who are able to, to, to not rely on the service route and the sort of university route for their job prospects. You need to be encouraging um not just for day-to-day -day life and upkeep and diy and stuff like that but just also for the you know, people who earn the big bucks are in the trades you know well maybe then rather than we were talking about work experience earlier should we not be doing more link ups with colleges and unis at school because i i went after i finished a levels i went to college for a couple of years and so I did business there, but at that college, it was brilliant. They had a mechanics section, you know, for, for mechanics, obviously plumbing, electric. Maybe we should be introducing like schools. And, and again, if that ha happens already or not, but to like college systems earlier to see what options are available to them. So they don't feel they have to do, like, I've got to do maths, uh, maths and English and science at A level because I then have to go do a business or a language degree at uni and and to see that there are these more practical things out there i think we need to go a step further and link it up with actual workplaces as well and then people can actually go and like even like if it's like electrician see what they do see a plumber um even like someone cuts hair or something you might want to go see a hairdresser but I, what, so electricians we could teach kids to rip customers off at an early age <laughs> 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 I never, I never said that. You know, you, you, you know um, but should, should they teach that in school then? Should they be teaching like electrics and trades in school, like plumbing and like hairdressing in school and things like that? So yeah, they, they, they did teach electrics a little bit, didn't they? But it was a case of making a circuit to make a little yeah. light. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. it, it should be, a, I think it should be a bit more advanced than that. Like I don't how think they to rewire should. a plug or how to... Yeah. 
not drill into a hole, which is above a plug socket and, and things like that. I, I don't think they should be teaching it. I think in this like life lesson we call, I think they should be saying, look, you know, obviously it's early to talk about it, but in your your life once you leave education, you can go down this route, the the, the like the skilled labour route. Yeah, electricians, plumbers, this mechanics. You can go down the the professional route. You can do this, and I think maybe at that, <clears> you you kind of introduce to kids at an early age to say, right, well, it's not all about having to get A levels and a degree, a GCSEs, A levels degree, blah yeah. blah. That there are there are other options that but, that people but, yeah, need. That's a yeah, that's a good point, and I think you know the the sort of practical things of registering yourself with company's house and. You know that's a fairly easy thing to demonstrate, and yeah. and things setting yourself up as a public limited company if you need to go into, you know, if you're going to be um, self-employed and, and stuff like that. It's just, I mean, they're easy things to do, but they're only easy if someone actually shows you how to do it. And a lot yeah. of people wouldn't even think of it. And I think that would open kids' brains up to sort of the prospects outside of the university, the traditional university sort of educational route, which which is needed because. Uh, kids i think railroad down that sort of path a little bit um and they feel like it's 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 sort of society expects it but do, does anyone remember their national record of achievement yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> have, have you all still got yours no nope. no i i lo- had to look for it a little while ago um but i couldn't find it just just cv would be fine yeah <laughs> they don't want to, they don't want to see it dad <laughs> remember when you remember when you first got a job and you had to take it with you and like I, I yeah. don't even know why you took it with you. I still do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got my work experience sheet in it. It's <laughs> like and it's got like excellent, excellent, excellent. He was a very hard worker for two weeks. <laughs> can, can, we, can we see proof of that? Where? I'll have to dig it up. I'll have to dig it up. I'm not convinced. I believe you. Yeah, no, honestly, I'll bring it in. I'll bring it into work. Think, and, think and also, the, if, things if, have definitely if, changed. <laughs> but i used to store all my certs in it all my certificates in it and, yeah, and the does. the plastic um cases all the ink would come off things and yeah. it would go onto the plastic yeah, and then you put you put and then you find like your certificate had leached onto the plastic and then if you put something different in there you get like an imprint of a previous thing yeah. you'd had in there so yeah. actually they were, they were a major design flaw in those in those uh, folders. especially if you, if you did you write a uh, personal statement on the first page that would come off sometimes like the letters yeah the letters. yeah i think i did i just said i'm brilliant and <laughs> please yeah. believe me yeah. I, can i make a suggestion for a subject go uh, for it social studies we did that at my my school i did that so, for GCSE. This is about, so what are you talking about religion, but things like actually social media yeah, uh, and yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. I think it's actually really yeah. important. Uh, and the, the good parts of it, but also the, 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 the poor elements, uh, and that includes, I suppose, the, uh, the racism, name-calling, yeah. and the, some predatory Cyber. instincts. Yeah. Like yeah. Cyberbullying as well. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's important. All, all that sort of stuff. Well, maybe then, yeah, you wrap that up with what I was saying earlier about the religions, so you could then drop that right in there. Culture studies, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think I did. I think social studies, yeah, for GCSE, I picked that in year four, or whatever it is now. Um, it was the fourth year then. Um, and it was year, literally... Year, year 10, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Do you know, do you, do you know um, Dan, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but that social studies, what, what did you have to do for that? What is that? Well, that's what I was going to say. It was more about... The society around you it was learning about that the only thing i really remember was like um one subject you had to go and um kind of like speak to people it was like speak to like elderly people to to, to kind of understand what life was like for them when they were at school growing up and things like that so it was about trying to go out and see like it was about learning about people in society keep an old lady company for a bit yeah, yeah I, so, but that that was the only thing I can remember. But it was about learning about kind of like I think we did touch on stuff like the fact there's poverty and and things like that. So it it was rather than it being learning how to do real life skills, it was about kind of seeing what was in happening around you. I found that really interesting. I mean, it was it was it was kind of like an easy subject at the time, but it was. It was did, did you pass the exam? Yeah, I think that was one of my few a's at gcse i think that was well done Dan. yeah i i only got one a funny enough um, i got um two and they were both in maths 
maps and statistics. Mm. So we can you, we, you can back up Ollie's stats that he tries to spell. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm, I'm not putting my name to his stats. I can't remember what I got uh, GCSE, but I got nine and a half GCSEs. I know that there was a half GCSE in something. My my half was um, RE. Oh, was mine was RE. Yeah, was yeah, was RE, yeah. yeah, mine was RE. I, think I didn't my, do RE. I think my other one was mm. French. No, How did you get out of not doing RE? Dan, did you do O levels or GCSEs? A, uh, GCSEs. <laughs> <laughs> You could drop RE. RE was an option, Ollie, where I was as well. I, I yes, think I only did it for the first know. three years. So what so did I, you do in that, in that time when everyone was in RE then? <laughs> no, Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the bike shed. Yeah. So my, yeah. sorry, Dan, I said my only A is PE. PE? Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I think is, uh, I didn't do any of the coursework. I still got an A. Oh, wow. So... I think I would have got an A star had I done the coursework. I didn't. That that was quite an interesting one because again, is it useful? It's useful if you want to go into that career, isn't it? But I'm assuming if you don't want a life in sports, then it's a bit of a waste of time. But if, yeah, w- would you change it then to perhaps health studies or something similar? Well, that's that's yeah. what I say. They, you, you could yeah, turn it to about new, yeah. Sorry, go, go on. Down. No, no. So I was going to say like nutrition and like body mass things like that. You could yeah. build that into it. Health. Kind of but if they didn't call it PE, it might get an uptake from like a different group of people, right? Like mm-hmm. people didn't do PE because they felt you had to be athletic, but you know, people like me could have done PE and uh, <laughs> that's like nutrition. Well, you do it now, don't you? Uh, I don't do PE now, Dave. I'm too old. You run, <laughs> you run, so you I, just... I do run, yeah. <laughs> but learning about nutrition could be really helpful, couldn't it? Like, in, oh, in absolutely. All countries, I think in our country as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. it's I think it's absolutely valid here, um, but but are we saying though right? So, uh, so I think back to it: the lessons you're saying you want to drop, and the lessons you enjoy, did it not depend on? I think we touched on it. Did it not depend on the teachers? Because like yeah. I remember my um, I think I did business studies at yeah. GCCs. Uh, she was a fantastic teacher. I remember that that the home ec teacher was was really good. I remember. Um, teachers we had for English were really good and maths but then like I said actually the science teachers were great but they just had this terrifying persona um and I'll never forget the first time I met one of the teachers outside of school and she was like completely different and you do realize they did have a, a school a school persona but you know we are we not saying because there's always the teachers that we didn't respect or were too weak for a class or, or things like yeah, that yeah I, I think that's fair I actually I, I took uh, English literature uh, a level and i had an argument with one of my teachers <laughs> about a book and he was going about how the 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 author put all these special things in like uh alliteration and he, and he put his, um a rhythmic whatever it is i can't remember anymore into it blah blah, blah. and i said no you've done it because it sounds good <laughs> and when uh, funny thing is when um i think a few weeks later there, there was a there's an author discussing things on a radio station, and they said exactly that. They write because it sounds good, not because they, they want to put all this special, cool, wordy, wordy stuff in that no one cares about. Did you take that back to the teacher? <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> track, track them down. I think, I think school is also a, a gave me my first experience of how life really can be. I remember for an English lit um I said, you had to do book reviews regularly and my mate hadn't read one and we made one up and he got an A for it, which really pissed me off. We, we gave him, we made a story up, a book, and he, he only went and got a bloody A for it. <laughs> pissed me right off. It's the other thing I would um, introduce at school is learning about politics. Like I think yeah, what's going on in the political world now and how it works in America, how it works in the UK. Like I know nothing about politics. I really feel like I should know a lot more than I do. I think that should be taught. I think that will come under the culture studies. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're, I didn't see that on the syllabus that you provided me. So I think that's, that's yeah. quite right. Yeah. So, <laughs> as soon as you mentioned politics, Ollie's eyes lit up. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, hang on a minute. If that if that comes under culture studies, then I guess pronouns and and the sort of uptake of pronouns and, and mm. he, she, him, it, her. It. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think some people do prefer it, um, but um, <laughs> yeah, that will be part of that that agenda as well. 
it could be um because there's a lot of going on in that space isn't there with with there's a lot of names that are traditionally uh gender specific that are now being kind of topping the name charts both in the male and the female world um example frank i think there's a few there's a few ladies called frank now um not, not Anne. frankie um huh and yeah. and you've always had that though you've always had uh, what's the word is it androgynous is that the word charlie six names yeah charlie that's a that's a that can be both kim alex uh, yeah how, how, are you, how are you working this into a subject i'm a bit confused <laughs> well because you know how a lot of email subjects like the the people are putting into their signatures i go by him like, he she yep yeah. yeah yeah but that apparently that's a big thing now and, and a lot of kids in classes are actually um instructing teachers to to refer to them in certain pronouns um and the teachers have to then make a note and like and like make sure they abide by that going forward <laughs> so <laughs> it's just getting a bit confusing so i think maybe there needs to be a pronoun lesson so do you want to go back to week? school <laughs> do you want to go back to school Ollie? <laughs> Do you imagine like going in and decide that your pronoun is like your majesty and just like have it in brackets before your name? <laughs> One of my friends put that on his, oh, what did he put it on? He was getting addressed as Esquire or something. <laughs> Sir or Lord. Yeah, and he had that for, for, low, for ages. But um, yeah, no, I think that would be a good one. Uh, I think politics that, is a good yeah. suggestion though. I think as much as I probably would have hated it at the time, I think. I think it'd be useful to know how it's like our yeah. democracy works and how our voting works because I, you know, I still don't really fully understand it. Like, and, I, and I think it would be, I think kids would probably, speaking on the generation of kids, I think it would probably be more interesting to them now because I think with social media and with just wall-to-wall news and stories, I think politics is more of a thing in households now than it ever was. Yeah. I never really spoke about politics when I was a kid. You know, you know yeah, and, more uh, relevant in today's world. Yeah, so I, well, I think I think it would be more um, interesting. Would you seek to teach? So you got democracy, but on the communism, totalitar- totalitarianism. I think the different types. aristocracy, colonialism. I think the different types. So even as Dan said, how how parties work? You've got you know the House of Lords, you've got the House of Commons, you've got unelected people, unelected Queen. You got to throw the Queen in. Your America, if someone can t- teach us how American politics works, because <laughs> I got you know the electoral system, uh, not the electoral system. Sorry, a lot of cover, and like every, everyone you know in the country is asked to vote, and I think people should understand what they're voting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look at the Tory leadership race. I mean, that's all a bit. That was news to me that that Tory party members then get the final vote. And so basically, people who are signed up as like social club members. Have they done that like? Haven't they done that like the last three times? That like, yeah. Yeah, that's I it. didn't realize that. I didn't re- for the last seven, eight years, isn't it? <laughs> well, it could well be, but I didn't realize it. I, I thought it went to the vote, went to the public or something at that point. But you only started paying interest when Boris got put in charge. Yeah. That's the problem. No, you're mixing this up with the X Factor, <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> yeah, it goes to the public vote. <laughs> well, it should do anyway. But no, I think politics is a good one because you know autocracies. That's the that's the one that you didn't mention, and that's you know, having <laughs> a, a real impact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Kremlin, how the Kremlin operate, and and how uh, you know how they command troops, and and from from a sort of warfare perspective, things like that. It should should actually be taught. Uh, yeah. And should we bring back national service? That's the other thing. Should we do a Finland and have like? Every... Oh, that's an interesting one that is because they had it in italy up until i don't know probably only about 20 years ago or so maybe is that why you lived in this country dan to get away from it <laughs> did you avoid it dan no i did just well, that's a bit yeah. hesitant there no no i'm <laughs> saying i did but i wasn't i was eligible i had to get a form signed here by the um the italian kind of consulate here and then get you it did, signed you did get out of national service well just because I, I, I was i would have missed uh school and college would, so, is that because you were going to be a sweeper or something, or a cleaner? Yeah. In, yeah. in, in where? Where? That's that's harking back. <laughs> <laughs> where? What in the in the forces? Yeah, janitor. No, I might I might have, I might have been up for that. Um, but yeah, no. So no, I did I did have to get myself excluded from it each time I went over. Um, but 
there is a you know there is a call. I, I guess it's easy for us to say yeah we should bring it back because none of us here did it. But I, so I need to join the, the army. Practical stuff. Sorry. I need to join the army. Did you? Yeah. Well, uh, probably on two occasions. Once join the army. Once join the RT. Uh, the RT part of the army. I was say you can be frontline. You're too tall. But you, you, you wouldn't be able to be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> let's Take find out. Trench. Let's do a let's deep have a paintball thing and find out what's what. Yeah, no, I'm not doing paintball. Um. <laughs> but it's an interesting one because it's it's one of the big um, campaign traits of Liz Truss, isn't it? She wants to spend three percent of GDP on on our defence budget. So um, that's a big increase on, on what we're spending at the moment, and that could encompass national service you know if you did and and it would be all sexes now i'd imagine in terms of national service it wouldn't be all gender three. specific all three <laughs> yeah even the it's <laughs> yeah. there's a theme with ollie's suggestions throughout this whole episode so far because <laughs> right range right, right back to the home ec. um but i would actually talk, going back to pe a second i would keep it but i would change it because i thought pe i thought pe was rubbish in a sense you do in the summer months you do a few weeks of football then it'd be a few weeks of rugby or, or sorry football in the winter you do a couple of weeks of hockey and then oh god i used to just hate cross country uh, the cross country time we'd do that that was so pointless so i'd probably change how we do it I, I think you should be able to maybe sign up to options within maybe you sign up to options within a, a subject so within PE you could sign up to what you wanted to do I mean these schools would need about a thousand teachers I know but <laughs> but maybe you should be able to vote on what you did in the lessons so, so like I said PE I would have dropped stuff like rugby and cricket and, and hockey and, and just chosen like tennis yeah, I, and I didn't football. need to enjoy any of PE really so, see I did I, I, it. I did as well I liked all of that I love playing hockey and rugby and everything Chris both yeah. school teams as well Maybe it's just because I wasn't a natural athlete like you two were. Yeah, we, I mean, to be fair, I have seen you play football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a natural. Uh, but then I'm bad at running, so it evens out. <laughs> but there's also our schools. If you go to She, He and It, our school, <laughs> when I was at school, um, netball was a girl thing. Yeah. yeah Basketball that's true. was the boys thing, sort of thing. Yeah. And the boys were only allowed to play netball if they wore a skirt. What? So that was a thing? You could, you yeah, could yeah. do netball as long as the boys wore a skirt? Yep. Yeah, oh, wow. It was, it was a thing. And we only did what, it once. What, why would that day? Because that was the uniform. That was as a rules at the time, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we, so we played the girls in netball at their own game. We battered them. But <laughs> at least because, see, because you're of that age... You, you like thirty and forty. You are sort of bigger, more athletic, that sort of thing. Um, I wonder what they do in schools now. Whether they have like girls' sports and boys' sports. I bet they don't. I bet, bet they mix it around a bit more. Probably. I mean, football is certainly the case because we had a girl playing football and she was really good. Yeah, she was really good. Um, it just, I, I've got no idea. I'm probably too old for that. I mean, if, if I look at IT <clears throat> in schools, it was only just being introduced. But IT is the subject. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's quite a long time ago, though. It's a very long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> we um. You know, the only one, the only one slight thing is, is in school are they trying to just open you up to as many options as possible? So is that why you do so many, so many, like in so many subjects, like you know, if you go back to all the different sports, because if I got to choose, I would have just play football all the time. But <laughs> but then I never would have played, and I played the other. Sport. I don't know. Is it a good thing as well? The chance to do other stuff that you might not. Yeah, possibly. We lost all of it, possibly. Um, but what I was going to say, kind of uh, before we wrap up, was more about the discipline side of things. So we're keeping detentions and stuff, right? And did, how many of us had detentions after school? No, I never had a detention ever. Okay. I had one as a class, and not, not class. individual. Yeah, yeah, me too. Actually, only as a class, not as not as an individual. I had it loads of times because I used to be because I used to be because um, I used to always talk and be like and then I would Did always you? say stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'd always I'd always put my hand up and then when they would say they'd always say that you're not allowed to, that you're not allowed to answer because whatever you're going to say is going to be stupid and I'll say no nah, <laughs> now for ages convinced me oh, that's that nice. is that it's not something stupid and then when they finally went to me then it would be something stupid and I'd get an attention. Oh well, that's your that's your own fault. 
Yeah, yeah I, I had a couple. I, I had a couple. But what, what, Dan, what did you do? I can't remember. One was about homework, maybe not doing it. And mm. I, I think the other one may have been, I think it was answering back in a lesson. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I think I got annoyed. So, so what, what in our school, what do we do for discipline? Do we bring back the cane? Do we bring this back, is what I was going to ask. We bring back the cane. That fortunately disappeared just, be, you know, a few years before I started secondary school. But I remember my sister telling me some of the stuff, you know, that, that you know, about people getting disciplined, mostly, uh, mostly boys. Um, but yeah, do we, do we bring back, um, I've got to be careful, is it corporal punishment? Yeah, because capital is a death sentence, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> cool. so, yeah, we don't want to bring that in. <laughs> The bit harsh tan for the kids, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you only got seventy percent to the yeah. chair. <laughs> Our school would be the only one of a survival. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I've got a question. I like to flip it. Uh, Dan S. Yeah. So you're at the school. Which subjects would you teach? If I was teaching, yeah, I well, I'm fairly good at maths. I always felt like I could be a maths teacher. Um, it's probably about it, really. PE, I'd like to. I think I could probably teach PE better than do PE. Hmm. You'd no, have I, to do I, PE well, as, as you teach it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But I, but I can. It's easy to compete with kids. <laughs> Are you supposed to grab your back after you've served in tennis? <laughs> um, yeah, probably stick on the math side. I always felt like I could be a maths tutor of, of some type. Okay. And so I did do maths at degree level as well. There's a career opportunity for you there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Mac? It'd have to be PE um, or IT. That would be, I haven't got no other skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mac. Do, do you think perhaps maybe they could teach, you could teach stand-up or comedy? Yeah, yeah. They, they should do they, Or um, I could be like the head teacher or something, something like that. Or public speaking, maybe. Yeah. He's too shy for that. He's too shy for that. So, yeah, Mac, yeah, you'd, you'd administer the punishment, would you? Yeah, we'd bring back the cane, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. And we'd Ollie? give it out, like you know, like like just like for example, someone shouts, and we don't know who shouts, so we just hit everybody on that side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> so we never got to the bottom of who it was, you know, so that kind of you know, we kind of we're kind of less, you know, we're kind of always more. <laughs> OJ, what you got for me? Well, I like Max philosophy there. I think I think um that's how you encourage snitches, isn't it? So you, yeah. you say to that side yeah. of the room <laughs> if the person doesn't come forward then everyone gets yeah. it. Yeah, so so the first time they might not. So the first time they might call you a bluff, but once they all get hit, then the yeah. next time <laughs> they, point you don't even say it again, they'll just shout out whoever it is. <laughs> I think I'd teach um uh business studies or English or computing computing not yeah. not anything factory you make all the stuff is up. this gcse or a level we're talking oh, i think for you probably looking at nursery <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well um i think you could teach politics ollie our new our new lesson we're going to bring in yeah maybe politics yeah politics would be a good one or yeah. you know home economics or something maybe like something like that would be quite a good one we've got to you've got good coach. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, not the cooking aspect. I'd, I'd, I'd learn on that from the kids. I'd be like saying, "So you show me how to do it," and then, <laughs> and then the next lesson, I'd repeat it, <laughs> and um, I'd say, "Go home, talk to your parents, and just find out recipes um, and bring them in, and and we'll try them." <laughs> so I'd throw the work over to the parents, but um, yeah, definitely a mixture of those those three. Uh, if it's GCSE level, then it would just be IT. It wouldn't be computing. Uh, but if it's A level, it would be computing. Um, what, what do you mean by computing? Uh, so when we did A levels, it, that was the class. It was called computing. Um, but it was basic programming. It was high level kind of turbo Pascal and stuff. I guess nowadays you'd be programming in Java or, or, or something uh, or C++ or something. But I, I'd say that's a good one because you see you see people developing in that um, and that's an important one for, uh yeah i don't know I, I i wouldn't want to be a teacher anyway i think it's such, it's such an important job but it's one of those jobs that <laughs> just would fill me with dread and i just wouldn't wouldn't enjoy it i don't think lesson planning and stuff 
I would I would suspect you would just wing it. I wouldn't <laughs> I, I don't reckon you do any lesson planning. Yeah. I would yeah. I'd just draw something on the board at the start and go, right, everyone discuss. Discuss, <laughs> draw a big circle and then uh, what's those diagrams where you've got a circle crossing over another circle? Then Venn diagrams. That's it. I draw one of those and I'd just draw a different one every day. <laughs> Poor kids. Uh, Dan? Dan Dan, what would you teach? Uh, I think I would do the social studies. Yeah, I think I find not, that interesting. Not Italian. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I was good learning that. You don't want to be taught by me. Um, but yeah, yeah. Social studies. I think just because then it does kind of, kind of does teach on like environment. When I say environmental, I mean kind of people things. And I, and I think it'd be quite current. So I'd like that. Yeah. Okay. And Dave, uh, you you've already taken PE, so I think that's the easy one. Podcasting one hundred and one. I don't know, maybe may producing, perhaps. There you go. Well, I can, I can stick to maths if you want to do PE. <laughs> I, IT's all right. I'm all right at IT. I was yeah, just about to say that. No one else said IT, actually. Well, Ollie's got computing, but then he changed to cooking or something. Yeah. I think I would just get frustrated trying to teach kids IT, like the people that, you know, that they wouldn't be able to, to do it properly first. That would just annoy me. No, but I, I think you'd be surprised because I think now kids are all pretty it's like they yeah, or, that base level, right? Or they're like looking up dodgy websites and stuff when you're trying to teach them how to. <laughs> so, so I yeah. think there's going to be people playing games and people <laughs> yeah. that know how to get to on certain websites and get around stuff. There will be stuff that. I mean, let's face dance. it, kids. We, we were all probably nightmares at school, right? We were. So, so, do, you that, do you remember it, the hamsters that used to dance on your screen? And there was yeah. like a website you go to called Hamster Dance or something, and it would just fill your screen up with hamsters dancing. And that's all we used to bring up in IT. I didn't do that. We need to, to play okay. games. Go on websites and play there, games. Was a, there was a game hidden in Excel, um, 90, Excel 95 or 97, and you could, and they'd actually put, I think it was Doom or something. There was some game hidden in Excel. As soon as kids found that out, it was just like all people were playing in the in the lessons. Is someone going to fact check that? Is that is that actually a thing? Yeah, fact check it. I can't remember. You had to put like formula in a cell, and then it would load the game in Excel. Yeah, he, 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 Microsoft Excel contained a hidden Doom like mini game called the Hall of Tortured Souls. Oh, Ollie, I, Ollie, I apologise. Yeah, except I, I had to check that. <laughs> like, like, no way, got Doom if game everything that, he says, one really. thing will be true every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, we did do in one of our IT lessons. We did play a game. It was like an adventure, you know, the old school adventure game where you would like type N to go north or E to go east, things like yeah, that. It was. Yeah. We did play that in in one of our IT lessons, which is quite fun. I remember in, in my IT lessons, my mate um, knew the shortcut of how to close a word without saving. So I'd be halfway through like my essay, and I'd like look uh, away and he would close it, and the whole thing would be gone. Uh, <laughs> remember when you did stuff like that in school? When someone about to sit down, you pulled their chair back. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the problem with schools, you know, and I think we've got to give teachers a lot of credit for what they put up with. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think I'd do the horticulture, agriculture and permaculture. So I think they're really important. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. Loop right uh, back there. Right? Yeah, that's a big loop back. Right, Plants, should we... Foods. Should we start wrapping up there then? Because we're conscious of time. Um, anyone got any You've final got all thoughts? The, all the time in the world. The school bells are ringing. We are, we are dismissed. <laughs> I, I have got all the time in the world. You're right, but you lot have got a busy afternoon of work to yeah, do. I've, I've got a thought, Dan. I tried to say, stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs. Stay Unless school. you're with Dan. Yeah, stay in school. <laughs> don't don't come to our school where we have capital punishment being introduced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but hopefully people have learned from this podcast as well that hamsters existed in Excel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, a, and a mini Doom version, which I'm going to look up in a minute. Because yeah. you still don't believe it, do you? I still don't believe it. No, I think you and Mac might be in on this. So I'm going to go and. <laughs> <laughs>